Hello everyone, welcome to Grown Home. Step inside far. So right here is our multiple purpose space. Right here we actually do our pack out, our washing, our packing, put everything into the cooler. We also start our amazing seedlings, which you can see here. We got some basil going, fruit collard greens, some celery, um, spinach over there. This is pretty much our nursery right here where we start our ceiling trays and then we move them over here under the light until they get big enough and then we transport them outside so they can harden off. So this is one of our many hoop houses. Right now we currently have seven hoop houses and the hoop houses is basically used to extend the season so we're able to have food longer during the year. So before this site was developed, it was basically just concrete. Um, we worked with the city and the city actually helped us develop this site and they just paved it full straight, straight concrete. So we didn't have to remediate this site or nothing like that because it's all solid concrete. From there, we brought in compost, which What you can see, this whole house is filled with compost. It's like two feet of compost up in this hoop house. So we brought in all of this compost. It was just piles everywhere. And then from there, we got these hoop houses built. So this is not top soil you up under there. It's just straight compost, raised bed. And that's pretty much it. For me, I feel like growing in compost is the best. Everything it grow well, looks good. Compost is just organic matter that's broken down. So like you, you can make compost from like here, what we do, we'll put a layer of vegetable scraps, then we'll put a layer of straw then we put another layer of vegetable scraps, another layer of straw, and just let it naturally break down on its own. Versus like the topsoil, you'll see more topsoil like in a rural area. 
So if you was going towards Marcel's, you would see a lot of cornfields. That soil you is different from the compost that we is actually growing there now. So we'll start dumping in one of these bins, and once it starts to break down, we turn it, so we'll turn it into this bin and start dumping a new batch over there. Once this start to break down, we turn it to the last one, which is the third one, and let it finish completely breaking down. From there, we'll take like a shifter and you know shift the compost out of there to separate some of the debris that may not have already broke down. We'll put it through like a little screen to separate it. We also have compost that we have picked up. So we work with a company called Angelic Organics and they'll come on site and pick up the compost because we really don't have the capacity to have so much compost on site. So we work with them to get rid of some of the compost as well. Here at Ground Home, we bring in all of our compost, like even our outdoor field, this is all compost and what's considered a raised bed. So we don't actually grow in the top soil, the regular soil, we grow our straight compost. Because being in the city, like certain, certain places, you may have to remediate the land or um, it may be contaminated with different things in it like um, metals, lead, things like that. So we don't just grow in that in that soil. We actually build on top of it and do raised beds. And that works better for us because it eliminates the risk growing in compost of like growing food in contaminated soil. So we choose to bring our soil in versus just dropping seeds in the ground. Some of them do have mixtures because you'll see like sand up in there. Sand actually holds water. So when we purchase the um, compost, it's all the medium is already mixed in. So we don't have to add nothing to it. We just keep replenishing it. So as the nutrients, like um, the plants take the nutrients, we add our own amendments, which is um, nitrogen, potassium, and magnesium. We add that back to the soil you every plant to keep the, the soil you fertile. Uh, we use the compost the whole growing season, but as the level of the compost sink get lower, we add more to keep the to keep the height of the compost. So like we grow carrots, some carrots will grow 10 inches. So you will need that amount of soil you so the carrot can reach its peak. So we'll keep replenishing our soil you adding to it every year. So we, we source our compost from um, different sources. So I was mentioning Purple Cow, um, Midwest Organics. Um, it all depends though, compost is kind of pricey. So we source organic and we also try to get good compost with at a good price as well. So we always shop around. Even with seeds, we source it organic and we shop from multiple organic seed places. Things I always look, at, look for is like the pH level. That tends to be like the biggest problem because you can get compost with a pH of like eight, seven, five, you know, things like that. We try to get a pH around like six to six, five because that's what the crops really like. So. I get soil you and we do soil you tests on the compost to see what the what the pH levels and the nutrients in the soil you is. And it's it's pretty easy to produce. You know, you like if you got at a got a home garden, just your food scrapes, you can imagine how much nutrients you can get from just food scraps at home and just do your own compost small. Because if you already got your dirt there, 
Yo, compost to just be something to help alleviate the soil. You just add amendments back and nutrition back into the soil, and it's easy to do. Whether you start in buckets or uh, you just have a little patch in the corner somewhere, or you get like a turning. You know, it's it's multiple ways you can do it, and it's all natural. I encourage more people to start composting. And it also helped with the environment as well. Instead of like having so much waste, you could turn that into something where you can grow food. So right now we got some, to the left is you'll see lemon balm. We got some thyme growing in the back. Here we got lettuce, we got radishes, we got turnips arugula, brassica mix, some collards, spinach at the end. So we got a lot, a lot growing right now. I'll say most excited about the farm stand, being open, um, being fully back up and running. Um, I'm excited about just uh, being able to um, speak with the customers again, you know, with COVID still going on and last year everybody was shocked, we were surprised with COVID. Um, just being able to engage back with the customer um, from, from the farm to the table, you know, just have them conversations like we normally would at the market. I'm also just looking forward to our CSA. Our CSA, we have 100 shares this year, so we never went that big, this is our first time jumping to 100, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that play out, how that go, so I'm excited about that. I also was gonna say our community garden. I'm yeah. excited about the community garden. If you look across the street, we turning that site into a community garden where the community can come, plant things, work with us in the garden, take home whatever they like, so I'm looking forward to that as well. We're going to be building out boxes and just filling them with compost and popping in some plants and watching it grow. <laughs>